Okay. Um, Lucy wanted to know what is punctuated equilibrium. Okay. So, punctuated equilibrium, when you punctuate something in English or, or Zulu, Kosa, whatever, any language, when you punctuate it, you pause it. Okay, so with punctuated equilibrium, this is part of, of evolution, and it's the part you are going to be writing exams about, this is what happens. Okay, it explains the speed at which evolution took place. Okay. That is what punctuated equilibrium is, because you've got natural selection explains how different organisms came about and resulted from one ancestor. Um, you've got uh, uh, Lamarck's theories of use and disuse, um, and, and also, they are all theories, okay, but they all explain different reasons why evolution happens. So with punctuated equilibrium, it explains the speed at which evolution took place. So uh, you have long periods um, of time with no change, okay, in a species. And that is called your equilibrium. Okay. There's no change. No change. And that is your equilibrium. All right. And that alternates. In other words, you have this, and then it follows with alternates with short periods. Oh, hang on, this is long, hey? Long periods of no change, that's your equilibrium, alternates with short periods of rapid, you could also say quick, so rapid or quick changes by natural selection. Okay, um, and how do we know this? It's proved, or well not proved, we shouldn't say proved. We can say supported. It is supported um, by absence of transitional fossils. Okay, so let's just quickly check this and then I'll go through what a transitional uh, um, fossil is. So it explains the speed at which evolution took place. You have long periods, no change. Okay, that's your equilibrium. Then that swaps or alternates. You can also say swaps. Swaps with short periods of rapid changes. Okay, and it's supported by the absence of transitional fossils. Now, what is a transitional fossil? A transitional fossil is if you look at um, a current fossil and you look at a fossil or, or a current species and you look at an ancestral species, a transitional species is the one that's in between. Okay, so it's the one that sort of has some of these characteristics and some of those characteristics. So it's, it's almost the shared or the in-between species. And we have a lack of those in-between species. We go from one and then nothing, and then all of a sudden there's another species that arrived. Okay, and all of that is in your fossils.